Hi guys, I'm here with a lip liner downsizing. So I have them arranged kind of vaguely by um, a color family. Over here is a clear Sephora one. I'm going to keep that one because that one is good for um, just an all over base. The next one is the Boots number no. 7 one. I'm going to go ahead and get rid of this one. Uh, in the It's Boots number no. 7 in, is it Nude? nude it's the one lisa eldridge helped to design um it's that first color in the upper left most corner there it's a bit too orange on me it just doesn't work very well on me so i'm going to go ahead and get rid of that one um i am going to keep my nyx pale pink that's the next one to the right it is a nice pale pink as it says this is a Becca one. This is a nude liner plump and define lip, oh sorry, lip pencil. It has two ends. One, it's like a contouring lip pencil. I got this for free when I worked at Sephora. I'm going to go ahead and get rid of that one. I've tried to make it work for me and it just doesn't work. Um, this is MAC Subculture. I'm also going to get rid of that one. I bought it because Pixie Woo's always talked about it. It's that fourth color in there from the left. It just always looks wrong on me. So I'm assuming there's something wrong with the color. Um, the next one is that flower. It's the only frosty one that I have right now from NYX. Um, I'm going to go ahead and get rid of this one. I just, it doesn't really match any of my lipsticks and I don't think the color works very well for me. The next one is Dolly Pink from NYX. I'm definitely keeping that one. I really like that one to mix with other pink lipsticks. Uh, the next one is Jordana Rock and Rose. I'm going to go ahead and get rid of that one. It's just a bit too brown for me. It doesn't seem to work very well. It's the furthest to the left on the in the middle row. The next one over beside that now is Essence, is it Honey Bun? And I think that one will work for me. I have to test it out, but it has a bit more rose to it. And I think this one will work out a little bit better for me. The next one is MAC Chicory. I'm also going to go ahead and get rid of that lip pencil as well. It's, it has a lot of orange in it, really. So it actually is very, very warm, and I just don't think it looks very good on me. Um, this is Baby Berry from Jordana. I really like that color. That's the fourth one in that kind of pinkish, the first in the pinks in the left row. I'm going to go ahead and keep that one. I really enjoy that lip liner. I'm also going to keep the next one in, which is Plush Plum from Jordana. I really like the Jordana lip liners as well. They're really nice. This is Bloom. I'm also going to keep this. This looks really good with that um, CoverGirl Spellbound color and uh, NYX Soft Matte Lip Cream. And is it Addis App something? Um, it's the same color as that, so it works really well when I want a crisp line for that. This is an Hourglass one in Raven. Definitely keeping that. That's that one on the bottom row there. This looks great all over, and all over it stays on really well for me. I did get this one in gratis when I worked at Sephora. Next one is NYX Orange. I'm keeping that. I like that for different looks, and I'm also keeping Red Hot from NYX. Those are all great colors. That's the three there on that bottom row. Now we're moving into some of the deeper berries and wine colors. This is Essence Soft Berry. This one looks a bit too brown for me. I'm going to go ahead and get rid of that one. The next one is Cabernet, I believe. Yes, from Jordana. This one has enough purple in it that I think it'll look really nice with some of my deeper purple lipsticks. This one I'm also keeping. This is NYX, NYX Cabaret. Both of them are named Cabaret. They're the, um, what would they be? The fourth and fifth one in from the right in that last row there. They're both really beautiful colors, and I like the formulation of both of those lip liners. This is Wet n Wild Brandywine. I'm going to go ahead and get rid of this one. It has a bit too much brown for me in it, so I'm going to go ahead and get rid of that. This is Max Night Moth. I'm going to go ahead and keep that for a really deep, vampy look. I might not do that look very often, but I really enjoy this uh, lip liner when I do. And this is uh, NYX Blackberry. So it's a black <laughs> lip liner, which I'm sure I won't use most of the time, but it's nice to have. And these lip liners are pretty inexpensive. So I'm really happy with keeping those. Um, I got rid of, you know, maybe like a third. So I'm pretty happy with my selection. I really don't think you have to spend a lot of money to get a good lip liner unless you're looking for a particular shade that you can't find. 
but these NYX ones and um, the Georgiana automatic ones I've just been very happy with them so and I don't wear lip liners all the time so I'm okay with you know having more inexpensive lip liners so these are the lip liners I'm keeping those are the ones I'm getting uh, getting rid of um, all right thanks for watching again I'll talk to you guys soon bye